All right, this video focuses on the general form or the standard form equation of a circle. Um, and what we're going to teach you in this video is how to convert it um, to our standard form. So it looks more like this. So we can identify the center and the radius. So we're going to be doing completing the square. So earlier this school year, we did reteach you completing the square from Algebra 2. All right, so I'm going to show you this um, example first, and then I'm going to do it again on the next slide um, in a little bit more detail. But I do like the textbook and, and the blue writing over here um, and how they kind of explain it. So it's kind of cool. So here's our equation in general form, and we want to convert it to standard form. So in order to do that, we're going to complete the square. So we're going to complete the square with the x squared and the y squared. So what you do is you take the x terms and put them together, you take the y terms and put them together, and then you have to complete the square by adding 4 to both sides and adding 9 to both sides, so it makes it a perfect square. So then it makes this a, per, uh, a perfect square trinomial, a perfect square trinomial. Now it's in standard form. Yes, that went too fast. So I did promise you I'm going to do it in my own writing, kind of show a little bit more work for you. All right. So that's leading us to this slide here. So here is our equation in general form. And I'm going to go ahead and group the x squared and that 4x together. And now I'm going to group the y squared and the negative 6y together. And then I'm going to bring this 23 over to the right-hand side, that constant. Now I've left a little bit of space right here and right here. And that's what's going to help me to complete my square. So how will you complete your square, I'm going to do this twice, is we're going to take half of 4. So what's half of 4? 2. And if you remember, what are you going to do with that 2? Then you're going to square that 2 to give you 4. So now 4 is going to be added right there. So now we just added 4 to the equation on the left-hand side. To balance it up, we have to add 4 over here. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with my y piece. So I have to take half of my middle term, negative 6. So half of negative 6 is negative 3. Then I'm going to square negative 3. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So I'm going to add 9 right there. Uh-oh, I just added 9 to the left side. I have to balance it up to add 9 to the right. All right, this is kind of messy. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite what I have. I have x squared plus 4x plus 4. I'm going to group those together. And then I have y squared minus 6y plus 9 together. And then on the right-hand side, I have 23 plus 4 plus 9. I'm just simplifying that, make it a little bit nicer, not so much. Busyness going on. All right, now let's go ahead and factor. So in this first trinomial, perfect square trinomial, what are the factors of 4 that add to 4? Well, it's 2 and 2. So I'm going to go a, a little slower on this problem than your textbook does and write it like this. x plus 2 times x plus 2. And I can combine those together as x plus 2, all squared. All right, head over to my second trinomial. Factor that. What are the factors of 9 that add to negative 6? Well, that is negative 3 and negative 3. So I can combine those together into one parenthesis, so it's y minus 3, all squared. All right. So right-hand side, let's clean up our constants. So 23 plus 4 is 27. 27 plus 9 is 36. So then 36 over here. All right. Now we have it in standard form. Okay, put my little equals. This is now standard form. So I can identify my center and my radius. So the standard form is x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. So my center is always opposite h, opposite k. So opposite 2 is negative 2. Opposite negative 3 is positive 3. And then my radius is the square root of 36, because that has to be an r squared. So the square root of 36 is 6. 
Now we could go on and graph this uh, circle if we wanted to. We have the center, we have the radius of the circle. 